you know, Jim, you, you remember I had a chance to fly with one of these Marines one time? We had some bad weather. We had to make an instrument approach in the field. We finally broke out under the weather. He tried to land on a runway that was 150 feet long and 10,000 feet wide. <laughs> it's early, isn't it? <laughs> a little trouble getting it stopped. Of course, the Marines believe they can do it, even when they're not in a Harrier. And our friends in the Navy do it every day, as a matter of course. All right. Well, another reason I'm happy to be here, April of 1972, I really shouldn't have made it. On my very first mission over Hanoi, 16 April 72, there were three SAMs. A lot of you know that's a surface to air missile about the size of a telephone pole. They were accelerated up at our airplanes at about 1,600 miles an hour. They would proximity fuse, detonate, and be lethal, be deadly within about 150 feet. <laughs> and on my very first mission, three of them came within 100 feet of our airplane, failed to go off, failed to detonate. Thank goodness for that Soviet quality control. <laughs> but there were many other times, and really, had it not been for thousands of people in the entire military and civilian support community who were proud of their work, who, who performed it in a professional, outstanding manner, Steve Ritchie would not be a fighter ace, and I probably would not be alive. So as you can imagine, I'm pretty thankful. I'm pretty grateful. I feel, I feel very fortunate to receive so much of the credit that belongs to so many who helped make it all possible. You see, there are many fighter pilots who could have done what I did. But we had a unique opportunity in the air combat arena, and there were some reasons for our success at the time given that opportunity. And you know what they are. Preparation, teamwork, discipline, dedication, education, training, communication, enthusiasm, attitude, 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 will, determination, integrity. And surely most will agree that those are the elements, the ingredients, the keys that go into the makeup of what? Success, achievement, quality, excellence, top gun performance, in anything that we do, personal or professional. So in the final analysis, it's people and a wide array of support functions who are trained and motivated and ready and willing to do the job, who ultimately make it possible for us to win rather than to lose to succeed rather than to fail, and sometimes, sometimes to live rather than to die. And that gets to be pretty important, doesn't it? Many ask about the 8th of July, 1972, when we downed two MiG-21s in a minute and 29 seconds. Because it's such a great example of how all of the elements of the team effort come together to produce an incredible victory. I wish I had video or color film to show. Anyone see the movie Top Gun? Well, it was a lot like, well, part of what you saw in Top Gun. Maybe some of the ladies are thinking about Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, Batman. No, 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 Iceman, Iceman, Batman later. Well, maybe some of the gentlemen are thinking about Kelly McGillis, I don't know, Meg Ryan. But I'm talking about the flying. Well, there was flying in that movie. You know, this kind of stuff. The flying was very exciting and dramatic and fast moving. Well, the last thing that happened that morning before we taxied is the crew chief came up the ladder to let me know we didn't have any film for the camera. We're in an F4E model with a gun and a gun camera. Most of the time I was in a D model without a gun camera. And I said, I said, what do you mean, chief? There's no film. He said, we're out of film. There's no film on base. Well, I thought about that for a moment. I said, that's okay. I doubt we'll see MiGs today anyway. See, we never know, do we? Good lesson, because we never know what's just around the corner. We never know what's just over the horizon. And that's why it's so important to be as prepared as we can possibly be in every area in our lives, because we never know, and we need to be ready. And that's why what Jim's doing with Radio America and, and this conference and other 
activities around our country, especially as it pertains to trying to help educate young people, in my opinion, is so vitally important, and more so the day than ever, because not here, but most everywhere, I believe parents are failing our children, and most schools are failing our children. And so it's effort like these, efforts like these, that become even more important. Um, and whether we like it or not, whether the media likes it or not, whether school teachers and college professors like it or not, whether Republicans and Democrats like it or not, whether conservatives and liberals like it or not. Folks, we're in combat. It's a war of good versus evil, right versus wrong, freedom versus slavery, civilization versus chaos. And we must not fail. Think about the fact that millions and millions of young people all over the world are being taught to hate us and to kill us, and they're willing to die doing it. We must not fail. <laughs>